We popped over to Shepherd's on today to give you a behind the scenes tour. A bonus today, we might get to chat with some locals who can tell you a little bit about what life is really like. From the best spots to eat to the things to do on the weekend, we're giving you the inside scoop and more. Shepherdstown is well known for not having any chain restaurants or stores, so be prepared for some unique and truly local experiences here. First thing today, we dropped into the Little Brick House as one of our coffee stops. We also stopped in at Amy and Alex's Ice Cream Shop, which is also a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. yep. It smelled amazing. Yeah. So what did you get? I had the maple bourbon latte, which I've never had before. Very unique taste. Okay. And I had an almond caramel latte, which is good. Sounds like it's going to be really sugary. It mm -hmm. wasn't. It was perfect. Well, they're saving you up to get ice cream afterwards, Ooh, so they can't sugar you up too that's much. That's wise. But it was like, <laughs> you know, 9 o'clock in the morning, so yep, wasn't quite going that today but there were some <laughs> unique flavors that sounded really good like mm -hmm. a lemon basil mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah we might be there later we'll yeah, see yeah we just might have to it's a little cold today <laughs> <laughs> another popular local coffee shop is lost dog cafe they have some really colorful decorations all of these places have a couple spots if you're someone who likes to go for walks, hands down, one of the best places to enjoy nature in Shepherdstown is the CNO Canal National Historical Park. You're going to park at Lock 38 right across the bridge from Shepherdstown. Yep, technically it's in Maryland, but it's right at the edge. Shepherdstown is one of many canal towns, which can be a starting point for a day ride, a hike, or a paddle, or a longer trip if you're feeling adventurous. It's the perfect place to go for a walk by the water, enjoy views of what was once the main industrial highway in early America. Get the full experience over here by renting a bike, kayak, or canoe from Shepherdstown Pedal and Paddle. You can even book one of their trips to Harper's Ferry, the Antietam Battlefield, or along the CNO Canal. Another popular local spot is the James Rumsey Monument, just on the other side of the river, which is right next to Cullison Park, where you'll find a number of playground options. A few popular playgrounds in or close to Shepherdstown to check out in the area include Morgan's Grove Playground, Sam Michaels Park, and Chestnut Grove Park. Time to grab lunch. Are you feeling like Thai food, authentic German cuisine, or more of an outdoor cafe vibe? Mm, let's head to a spot with the best views. The Bavarian Inn is an iconic family-owned business in Shepherdstown. You can't beat this setting. They serve authentic German cuisine, including schnitzel, bratwurst, sauerbraten, and more. In addition to being a great place to eat, they have 72 rooms and suites here furnished in the European style. Other popular restaurants in Shepherdstown include Betty's Restaurant for country cooking or the Blue Moon, where you can enjoy your meal outside on the grotto. The sounds of water rushing by and the landscaping here are magical. It feels like a little fairy garden. Plus, you can enjoy local and organic foods, vegetarian and vegan options, and international flavors. Something for everyone here. They feature open mics and live music regularly. If you love Asian cuisine, you will have to check out Kome Thai and Sushi Bistro or the Green of Pineapple. They have smoothies here too. Or check out Bistro 112 for the French inspired food in an elegant cafe setting. They offer French wine, champagne, and cocktails and host art shows and special events throughout the year. For a fancier night out, you can head to the press room for contemporary American cuisine. Their claim to fame is that they have a wine vault with over a thousand bottles of wine from across the world. A few other local spots to mention are Lila Restaurant and Alma B. There are more restaurants opening in Shepherdstown all the time. It's hard to keep up. A trip to Shepherdstown isn't complete without the iconic O'Hurley's General Store. Here you'll find many unique handmade items, great for gifts or for use around the home. Watch out for the store cat. <laughs> they sometimes host jam sessions in the back room with the handmade rockers. Very Which is not to be confused with actual jam because yes. Hannah told me about that and said the jam's over there. <laughs> they also and have I, real jam. I was talking about real jam. Yeah. <laughs> Four Season Books is the perfect spot to get lost in. There are so many great reads and also some gifts. You might run into my mom at the good shop. She likes to pop in here to see what's on sale every few weeks. There are more unique handmade items here and things you just won't find shopping online. Last stop is the German Street Coffee and Candlery. This isn't exactly shopping, but everyone needs to know where the good ice cream spots are after a long day of shopping. You're in luck. Here you can go to the Rock Hill Creamery on German Street or go to Amy and Alex's homemade ice cream and coffee on Princess Street. Or go grab a late lunch or a coffee at Shepherdstown Sweet Shop before you get back out there. If this video has been helpful for you, we would love it if you would leave us a comment or like. Or if you're ready to start planning your trip, reach out for our free visitor's guide to check out our curated list of spots to visit, including places we couldn't fit in this video.
Some of the best times to visit Shepherdstown are during the Sunday farmers markets, which happen year round, or when there are craft fairs going on at the War Memorial Building. There are also town parades for the 4th of July, Halloween, and Christmas, periodic street festivals, and annual events to look forward to like the Mountain Heritage Arts and Crafts Festival, the American Conservation Film Festival, the Contemporary American Theater Festival, and the Appalachian Strings Festival. You could say this town likes the arts. Yep. <laughs> Now for some inside information from some Shepherdstown locals. Thanks for letting us barge in on you for our YouTube walkthrough. We wanted to ask you what made you choose Shepherdstown as a place to live? Well, I think we ended up in Shepherdstown because we found a great house here and it was it was the first house we saw that we thought we could live in, mm -hmm. and it's proved to be a really wonderful choice. So, but Shepherdstown was a big bonus. Yeah, we have not lived so close to a town before, and that's wonderful. But this town has a university, cultural events, um, a big wellness center, indoor pool, walking trails, nice shops, a great bookstore. Dad, can you tell us some of your favorite spots? It's a really um, compact. Historic community. We first came to Shepherdstown years ago to uh, come to uh, cultural events. It's always been such a beautiful little place, but we didn't really know much about it. When we found this house, we were really looking at another house when we found it. The house was not in Shepherdstown, but it had all the check marks of what we were looking for. It feels like a unique new home. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and I think there are four or five little free libraries, which I think is unusual for a town this size. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I might have mentioned you when we went past the shop, but you could be found there every few weeks. Probably just well, checking in. Though. Maybe not quite that often, <laughs> but yeah, every at least once every season. Yes, you want to move here now? Mm-hmm. That would be nice. Like clearly, that'd be fun. <laughs> Thanks for joining us in Shepherdstown today. If this video piqued your interest about Jefferson County, be sure to watch our video where we take you around our favorite spots in Charlestown, West Virginia. See you next time.